Hi! In this video, we are going to learn about the midline theorem. We are going to define what a midline is and discover some of its properties. This is a supplementary material to your student learning guide 7.3.3 under the course Math 4 with MAMSOL. The midline of a triangle is the segment connecting the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle. So in our figure here, segments IJ, JK, and IK are midlines. Any triangle can have at most three midlines. An interesting theorem that involves the midline of a triangle is the midline theorem. Basically, it states two things. First, the midline of the triangle is parallel to the third side, or for easier understanding, this is the side which midpoint was not involved in constructing the midline. So in our triangle here, we used AB and AC to construct midline DE, therefore the third side is side BC. Second part of the theorem states that the length of the midline is half the length of the third side. The proof of this theorem may be found on your learning guide, so we are not going to discuss the proof itself here. However, let's try to validate that using this figure here. So, DE is the midline and BC is the third side. We are going to move the two vertices involving the third side and please observe the ratio between the length of the midline and the length of the third side. So as we noticed, the ratio is constant and it is always 0 0.5 or 1 half. This validates the second part of the theorem that states that the midline is indeed half of the third side. Let us also investigate on the perimeter of the triangle formed by the midlines of a triangle. So in this triangle here, we use the GeoGebra app to compute the perimeter of triangle IJK formed by the midlines of triangle FGH. We will also compute the perimeter of triangle FGH. And later on, we will observe the ratio between these two. So initially, the ratio is 0 0.5 or 1 half. And then let's try to move the vertices involving the third side and let's see what happens to the ratio. So as we have observed, the ratio between these two perimeters, the perimeter of the triangle formed by the midlines, is half the perimeter of the original triangle. This perimeter is also called the semi-perimeter of the original triangle. We are going to use that concept to solve problem number two in your student learning guide. This problem was taken from your SLG 7.3.3. It reads, in triangle PQR, T, U, and V are the midpoints of sides PQ, QR, and PR respectively. If the perimeter of triangle TUV is 24 and a half centimeters, what's the perimeter of triangle PQR? So to easier visualize this one, let's try to draw. Triangle PQR and the midpoints T, U, and V. We now connect those points and we will have the midlines T, U, U, V, and T, V. Now we know that since T, U, T, V, and U, V are midlines, then the perimeter of triangle T, U, V is half the perimeter of triangle P, Q, R. Therefore, if the perimeter of triangle TUV is 24 any half, it's equal to one half of the perimeter of triangle PQR, and that gives us 49. So the perimeter of triangle PQR is therefore 49 centimeters. Of course, not ending this video without thanking my references, the developers of the ever-amazing GeoGebra app, and the writer of SLG 7.3.3, Ms. Mary Gay Antoinette Magpantay of PSHSMC.